let's get ready. Oh, there's a new song by Dodi. It's called Good Girl. Cool. Good Girl. It's called Cool Girl. what we've got going on for now it should be enough i'm just going to prep and get my daily dose of caffeine probably the first one of many um yeah i have an addiction <laughs> to coffee <laughs> it's so bad for some reason i think that it's freezing because it just looks that way yeah i'm just gonna go to prep and maybe do some journaling or reading there, we'll see. Hi, can I have a cappuccino with oat milk? Yeah. It's 9.41 and I have a lecture starting at 11. It is a face-to-face -face lecture, um, so I'm gonna attend it physically, so that's gonna be fun. So far I've just had a single face-to-face -face lecture since the beginning of um, uni. Right now, while I still have some time um, making a to-do list, well actually, I'm that kind of person who has a to-do list for the next day, prepared the day before. So yeah, I already woke up and had this list in front of me. It may seem kind of like too extra, but for me it's a lot easier to... Because sometimes I have this thing that, like, for example, let's say it's Monday, and I'm already worried about not completing all the tasks. So when I'm writing down things for Tuesday, then I can see like, oh, I have some more extra time, free extra time tomorrow, so I can like postpone some tasks till tomorrow. I think it just gives me a greater peace of mind, let's say. Um, this is my beautiful bowl of miso soup. I know it looks sort of rough. I think some of the like leafy stuff were pink and that's why it's this weird color, but it's really good actually. I cooked it yesterday as my like meal prep for the week, let's say, and I made this huge pot um, and I think it's gonna last me till Thursday and it's Tuesday. I think I'm gonna head to Pret once again, get some work done there. Because I don't really particularly like studying in here, or like, you know, just even like doing math tasks. I know I look not that great, but like I cried like a half an hour ago, so that's probably why. This is just one of those days, you know, I don't even think I have to explain it. The weather is shit, my mood is shit, I have so much work to do, um, and I just want to go to sleep. <laughs> I actually wanted to show you what I'm doing. So today I found out there's this thing called the skills lab, um, and it's happening tomorrow, and basically if I want to attend it, I have to read this. It's just some economics essay and I had to answer like those questions and now I did it. It was like pretty easy. In 10 minutes time, I have like a practical, statistics practical. So I'm gonna attend that. It's gonna be probably boring because the last one was just 
terrible it was literally i gained no knowledge from it but you have to attend them so after that i also have to do more um stuff for my econ assignment because it's due to friday but it's a long one i cannot manage doing it one day so i have to like split the work and then i have like a zoom call with my team for this conference i'm organizing there's just a lot of stuff happening for me academically that's the source of my mood i guess but it's just i think it's important to not try to hide it or pretend like i'm not sad when i am yeah i'm going back to my work now Hello, I mean, I'm going to the cafe once again, but I am close to finishing Damian. It's a brilliant book, actually. actually have to write the essay. No, I don't think so. It's thousand words. I'd say like 200 for the introduction, 100 for conclusion. My dinner for today i've been enjoying this stir fry for like the past three days and uh, i really like it it's not like particularly incredible but like it's noodles it's vegetables it's good trying to be vegan here but sometimes I just can't stop myself I literally lost my tote bag yesterday as I went out with Yagoda to the bar and I'm going to the bar right now and I'm hoping it's there like I just left it there I do look kind of nice today, not gonna lie. Maybe it's a workout I did in the morning because I worked out, by the way. And this is my outfit in total. I have these high knee boots for the first time in my life. I'm also going to the library right now. Study, yay!
London. I don't know, it makes me happy. Hi, so I just came back from my city adventure. I was hoping I would get more time to just like sit and enjoy my boba but i was kind of in a rush um i also went to the stores as you have seen and i bought two cashew milks and you may ask why two well the answer is the price of this milk was 125 and if you count that to polish prices it's basically like one third of the polish price of cashew milk so it's so inexpensive plus this is like one of my favorite milks like Oat is first, so that's why I bought oat as well, though it was more expensive. Um, and then I bought two cashews. Cashew milk is just so creamy and like not that sweet and it's good with coffee, but it's also good on its own. Well, is that? That's why I made such a big purchase with my milks. And now I'm gonna have some instant noodles for dinner because I cannot be bothered with cooking today. I also don't have the time to. Yeah, I'm hungry, even after the boba. I'm just hungry. I've done so much walking today. I also didn't work out. It was such a productive day. I still have one like math tutorial to go and then it's the weekend, it's the freaking weekend like SZA said in her song which I was just listening to. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go, um, see ya. I'm going into a cafe right now, not prep not prep this time i'm actually putting effort in walking like 600 meters and going to a cafe to study i will actually like, just do some work and pay for my coffee because i haven't bought a coffee in like a month because i had the press subscription but it it ended like two days ago um but i'm actually excited to try new coffees um and study and be like in a focused space but anyways i have to go now bye To give you some context for this evening, while we were enjoying our ramen, we got the news about the new UK lockdown. Since it was Halloween, we went up to Primrose Hill with our friends. Despite the restrictions, there were so many people there just vibing, drinking, dancing and shooting fireworks. Eventually, the police came up the hill and we had to disperse, but I'm not gonna lie, the night was quite fun all in all. As I was planning to finish this vlog on Sunday, I didn't record any sort of ending um, clip, but since Sunday was kind of a messy day for me. There was a lot of emotions regarding lockdown. I was even considering going back home um, to Poland at some point. I didn't feel like vlogging at all. It was just not on my mind. So this is why I'm filming the outro now. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty much settled in, in London. I've met so many incredible people and I'm just spending my time in the best way possible, even though the situation is not ideal at the moment but yeah i just wanted to come in and say that and i'll see you in the next video bye